Hi, I One Studio is on. Today I want to show you how to use my project, Base Library for Premiere Pro. First, you need to install the ZXP installer. The download link is in the text document. Then, install the Atom X extension. If you already have this extension installed, then update it to the latest version. This is necessary for correct work of the package. After installation, restart Premiere Pro. In the Windows tab, select Extensions and then Autumn X. To install the package, drag the .autumn file into the Autumn X panel. Enter your email and activation key. You can find the key in the download section of the videohive.net. Done! Project installation takes between 3 to 5 minutes. You also need to install free fonts. Their link is in the text document. You can see all new items by clicking on the corresponding button. Each item has preview files. To apply the item, use double click or just drag and drop item to the sequence. Some of the effects can be applied in two layers. For the new transitions to work correctly, make sure your footage have the Scale to Frame Size feature turned on. Before applying the transition, make sure that Toggle Track Targeting is enabled on all layers of the transition. Right-click on the newly created sequence and click Reveal in Project. A special folder with placeholders has been created in the project hierarchy. Click on the first layer above the transition, open the main graphics panel, and just drag and drop the sequence from the placeholder folder in the media replacement. As you can see in the video, if the toggle track targeting is disabled on the layers, the elements will not be included in the transition. You can also apply a transition by simply selecting layers even if toggle track targeting is disabled.
Some of the transitions work in overlap. To apply, select the second part of the footage and apply the transition. Replace the media as with the previous transitions. Cut, delete, and move the footage as shown in the video. Let's look at the ways to edit elements. Use the Essential Graphics panel to customize the element and make it unique. You can change available colors for the text and media files. You can find many item settings in the Atom X Customizer. Many transitions have a target. You can change the appearance of the target using the available settings. And most importantly, you can change the position of the target. Also, you can change other available settings like Blur and RGB. For your convenience, you can change the transition using the Essential Graphics panel.
You can change the duration of most elements within and out animation by lengthening and shortening the layer on the left and right side. To increase the duration, duplicate the background as many times as needed. For tracking callouts, select the element you are interested in and apply it. Choose its starting position. Click on the clock position to build the animation. Frame by frame animation on the object of focus. The more keys you put in, the better the animation will be. Elements that occupy the full size of the sequence are applied exactly at the size of the resolution. but you don't need to recreate the element to change the resolution. Just use Resize button in Atom X and you will get the result. You can add any item to the Favorites section for quick access. The unique feature of transitions is that you can split the transition at the junction and customize the essential properties separately.
This allows you to create new unique transitions. Use sound effects to make your work more immersive. You can watch the tutorial directly in Atom X. Thank you very much for watching this video. Good luck and see you again.